to the streets of Philly in this one, man. I believe our guy Alex somewhere, some, kind of somewhere around Philly. I don't think you're in Philly, but somewhere around there. But we're rooting for the Sixers, man. I know me. I'm rooting for Embiid. To, I'm rooting for him every single game. You dig what I'm saying? We have the Sixers here laying five points at the house versus the Toronto Raptors, getting back five points on the road in this one. If you would like to go the money line route, the 76ers are laying minus 190 as, at home as the home favorites in this one. Or you can get, uh, get back plus – uh, 163 with the Toronto Raptors is the road underdog in this one. Over and under sitting at 224 in this one. These teams usually play close games. Um, I know they have a lot of great defenders over there. And and Alex, I was going to go with Embiid points, but I do think we're always trying to cash for the show, right? So I'm like, I think the obviously with uh, OG, Siakam, they, and they have Jakob Pertl to throw at Embiid now. I'd rather to go with the points, I'll head go with the rebounds, Alex. I don't know if you've noticed, but they're getting out of Embiid's way. They're letting them get the rebounds. They're letting them step pad, if you will. Um, they know he's going for the MVP. He's going to win it. I like his over 10 and a half rebounds tonight. I think he could go. Uh, he gets at least 12 rebounds in this one tonight, noobs. Uh, give me a B rebounds. I still like his points, but I do like the rebounds more. The safe route probably be points and rebounds. Could you talk me off here, noobs, and who do you think is going to win this one? I actually think the even safer route would go rebounds and assist. You talk about mm -hmm. uh, all those defenders the Raptors have. What they do with Embiid basically is it's a lot of double teaming with a third guy kind of lurking. They do everything they can to force the ball out of his hands, and he's gotten much better at passing out of those double teams. So maybe look at his assist number as well, and if you want to put those two together, I think that's better because you're right. He generally does not score well versus this Toronto team. Nick Nurse knows how to draw it up, and it should be a really fun game. This is another one Josh had a pick here. Josh likes the Sixers minus five. Five and I really hope he's right here, man. The Sixers could use a comfortable win in a big way. And again, it's it's always tough with these Philadelphia games. I, I expect Embiid to play. Um, actually, it looks like they pulled him off the injury report. So Embiid's good right now. Harden's good right now. Uh, the Sixers are much better than this Toronto team. It's at home in the Wells Fargo Center. Again, just about 30 minutes away from me. But I'll be sitting on the couch watching, being nervous for my Sixers and hopefully the MVP, Joel Embiid. Yeah, in theory, the Sixers now obviously they do have the Bucks on deck, but that's going to be um in a few days. But in theory, they should come out with some here in the first quarter as well. Something I like to do, Alex, is when a team is coming off four straight uh home games and their first game on the road, it's usually like an adjustment period. You were comfortable at the house shooting on your uh shooting on your own rims um in your home gym that you're used to, sight lines all that. First game in a new arena really would uh go to advantage to the team that's playing their second straight home team home game here. And the the Sixers did come out slow in their last game as well. They were down nine points in the first quarter. I'd lean Sixers here in the first quarter. I think they should come out here um, and, and have a much better start. The Raptors aren't the, – they don't have the bench. I'll tell you that right now. The Raptors starting five is good or whatever, but their bench is not great at all. I think the Sixers bench could eat them up. And I guarantee you if our guy Punt was here, he'd say that, hey, look, when the bench, is, when the bench players come in, that's when the Sixers really should push their uh, push their lead up in this one. I could definitely see them winning by double digits in this one. Um, I lean with the Sixers their first quarter and full game with our guy punt but i'm going with Embiid over his 10 and a half rebounds in this one guys he's had he had 11 in their last meeting as well i think he's getting at least um 12 in this one tonight guys so i couldn't even talk you off uh buying it up to 11 and a half as well as some plus money Embiid rebounds in this one looks like everybody's getting out of his way so he can at least tempt to go for like 30 and 30 and 12 or 13 uh, rebounds every single night and i still like those rebounds assists as well uh new but any thoughts on this total in this one we know that sometimes these teams play like a, a playoff style type of game did you have any thoughts on the total in this one I definitely lean towards an under here. They're going to try to work hard and back it a little bit more slowly. My guess is that'll take the pace down for the Sixers. Again, as good as Embiid is playing, what he brings on defense, and he does really slow this offense down. I'm looking at a total right now around 224. I had it about 222, so a little bit of an edge on the under, but I'll let this one go. Yeah, no, I'm right there with you on that. Um, yeah, so our guy, Punt, likes the Sixers. Give me a jo Joel Embiid over 10.5 for rebounds for my play of the day in this one, my guy.